every once in a while as a new concept starts taking form, it throws up a fair bit of surprises. As a channel, headlines today embarked on this novel yet ambitious project called the You Matter Show. We as a team worked on only one brief. We were going to make it your show, your platform, your forum. As a team today, we stand surprised. Surprised how quickly you have taken ownership of this show. We are humbled by the responses we've been getting, by the letters you've been writing us, uh, by the feedback that you've been sending us, which has further steeled our resolve to continue your fight. Because no matter where you are, what your story is, what your fight is, you have the right to be heard, you matter. Today, on the third edition of uh, the You Matter show, these are the stories that we have picked from all the letters, all the mails that you have been sending us. Who does the city belong to? The urban dweller or the villager who's been living in this city for years? Colonel Sharawat, a man who's been fighting for this cause, has all the answers. A 20-year-old conflict in an insurgency-ridden area has given the state of Kashmir lakhs of orphans. Who takes care of them? One woman has raised her hand. We're going to take you to her. And then we take you to Lucknow where we profile a lawyer who's fighting the government, fighting the government on its faulty planning. In the first episode, we had profiled Vimlindu Jha and his crusade to save a dying river, the Yamuna, the national capital. Vimlindu's voice has now resounded in the backwaters of Kerala where Grace Napoleon now stands beside him fighting to save the environment from degradation. Do you know there are over 320 villages in the national capital? Do we know where these villagers live? A city which is crumbling under the infrastructural demands is eating into their habitat and fighting their battle today is Colonel Sharawat from the national capital who wants to reclaim the dignity of these villagers, reclaim what was theirs, their land which the government is arbitrarily doling out. And with that, Colonel Sharawat hopes he will also reclaim the green space the green oasis that Delhi once was. I'm Colonel Devinder Sharavat. I had the opportunity and the fortune to have served the uh, defense services of this country for about 20 years and uh, thereafter I came back to Mahipalpur and uh, I came back to the village, I lived here and I, I realized that the issue which had been troubling me few years back is now uh, got a mammoth proportion and this is the land acquisition injustice which is being done to the farmers. This land was part of the South Central Arauli Ridge. It was an open area covered with trees. The children of the village used to come and play cricket here. But what has happened today is the entire area has been dug up. The construction work has commenced here. And I have been taking this up personally by writing columns in press, interacting with the media, going to the judiciary, meeting the bureaucrats as well as the political leadership. Despite our approach to the Supreme Court Environment Committee and a petition being filed in the High Court, this construction work is going on. We are standing on the horse, a water body, ancient water body, located between village Mahipalpur, Vasant Kunj and the South Central Aravli Ridge. This was a natural water reservoir which was acting as a recharging area for this South Delhi area. What has happened now is that the entire water body has been encroached upon. The land has been allotted to CISF. Some construction activity has already taken place. On the other side of the road, the land between Mahipalpur and the road which has come up is planned to be used for commercial exploitation. We have again taken up this matter with the environmental committee and we have even approached the DDA that uh, this land should be used for green project and this water body should be restored. This land 
land is situated on the National Highway 8 going towards Gurgaon. And this land is part of the South Central Aravli Ridge. And the land is about 102 bigas. This is a Gram Sabha land plot. The Gram Sabha land should have been utilized for green projects. It should have been utilized for projects for the welfare of the villages. It should have been an environment friendly project. But see, what is being done is this has been given to the Ministry of Home Affairs. Some residential area or office complex is going to come up in this place. There have been two judgments by the Supreme Court. One by, uh, by uh, Justice Markande Kachu, which has recognized the special status of the Gram Sabha land. When we approach the Chief Minister regarding the land matters, the simple reasoning that is given to us that land is a central subject in Delhi and the land is being dealt by the Urban Development Minister. Unfortunately, this is not correct. There is a land and building department under the Delhi government and the Delhi government is the one which carries out land acquisition. I have firm faith and belief that we all must stand up for the right cause and take it up for the interest of the entire community. And I will continue this fight till we get justice and the welfare of the villages, the unauthorized colonies and the citizens of Delhi is being taken care of by the people who matter. Last week, after our second episode, we received a mail from the Kashmir Valley. In a state where largely everything is viewed with skepticism, this mail was a breath of fresh air. Full of raw energy, full of enthusiasm and most importantly, full of gumption to put up a fight. We take you now to the Kashmir Valley, where we profile young 27-year-old Kurat Masudi. A young woman who gave up a high-flying career in the field of engineering to take up the fight of orphans in the valley. Orphans who till now were only viewed as collateral damage through 20 year old conflict that the state has been going through. My name is Kurat Masudi. I'm basically a computer engineer but always wanted to be a social worker. Sakurat so left behind her career to work for orphans in turmoil hit Kashmir. I started working in different orphanages. I went to almost every nook and corner of Kashmir and tried to find out like what is happening in these orphanages. I was really upset and I was really shattered when I actually saw the condition of these uh, orphanages. And I uh, decided to do something about it. Most of the children, they are the children of conflict. The kids, their parents have been killed by army or militants. Most of the orphanages that we have in Kashmir, they are not registered. So if there is no registration, there is no check, there is no accountability. But in Kashmir, it's so unfortunate, like every next person is having an orphanage these days. I mean, the result, the outcome of that is like, these orphanages are in such a pathetic condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really concerned about the girls folk. Suppose we uh, register or we admit 10 girls today they're not registered with anybody there's no such department there's no such uh, you know uh, place where they can register these uh, people suppose we have 10 today tomorrow we can have just eight of them and nobody's going to ask them like what happened to these girls I still remember when I would go to these orphanages, they would, you know, they would be like, they're like uh, mentally so disturbed. Like they, uh, if you just try to talk to them, I mean, they'll either they'll hide their faces, they'll not reply. So the first thing that I did is like, I would go to these orphanages and I started uh, some workshops. 
involve them in writings, involve them in drawings. I have been continuously campaigning about this and I have been talking about it. I went everywhere. I have struggled a lot for last so many years now. I went to chief minister also, but nothing came out. I went to uh, almost every person in our society. I mean, I went to separatists. I went to um, minister social welfare, but uh, I think they were not really serious about it. But I'll not stop here. I will not lose heart. I will continuously work for it. And I want people to join me. We have every right and these children have every right to be heard of. Join my organization. The name of my organization is Ash the Hope of Kashmir. And my contact number is 941-90-777. As citizens of this country, most of you are watching, might have issues, you might have problems. You might have grievances that you want to address. You might be very upset with the system. But as citizens of this country, there are very few of you out there who will take the time out to fight. If you are doing that, then we will respect your time. We will respect your fight. And that's the reason why we're going to go across at this point of time to Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow, to Gomti Nagar, where we profile a lawyer and his fight that he has taken on the local authorities over a badly planned flyover in Gomti Nagar. इस समय हमारे गोमती नगर की और लखनऊ शहर की जो सबसे ज्यादा ज्वलन समस्या है वो आपके सामने ये जो फ्लाई ओवर है ये चार फ्लाई ओवर बने हुए हैं लेकिन इस फ्लाई ओवर पे जाने और आने के लिए गोमती नगर की जनता को जिस दिक्कत का सामना उठाना पड़ता है और जितने संघर्ष का सामना करना पड़ता है कि अगर इनको इस फ्लाई ओवर पे चलना है तो दो किलोमीटर पहले और दो किलोमीटर बाद में कम से कम चार किलोमीटर की यात्रा राम साइड से करके इस पे चलना है इसकी वजह से यहाँ पे पर डे एक दो एक्सीडेंट हो रहे हैं बहुत से लोगों की जान जा चुकी है मैं डीके सिंह एडवोकेट मैं यहाँ 1991 से प्रैक्टिस में आया जब मैंने इंडिपेंडेंट प्रैक्टिस शुरू की तो मुझे ये लगा कि आम आदमी की तमाम ऐसी समस्याएं हैं जिनको सिटीजन फोरम के माध्यम से या पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट के माध्यम से रिजॉल्व किया जा सकता है यदि इस फ्लाईओवर के नीचे जहां पे हमारे पास पर्याप्त जगह है इसी रेलवे लाइन के किनारे अगर हमको ये सब वे बन जाए तो गोमती नगर से विवेक खंड से विभूति खंड जाने के लिए जनता को बहुत सुगम रास्ता मिल जाएगा राज्य सरकार की तरफ से कई बार हम लोगों की तरफ से अधिकारियों और मंत्रियों से मुलाकात भी हुई मुलाकात करने के बाद हम लोगों ने उनको आश्वस्त भी किया कि साहब यदि बन जाए तो इससे बहुत बड़ी समस्या का ट्रैफिक की समस्या का निदान हो सकता है लोगों की जानें बच सकती हैं और आम आदमी आसानी से अपने रास्ते से आ जा सकता है लेकिन अभी तक राज्य सरकार इस पर बिल्कुल अपना मौन व्रत साधारण कर चुकी है कि अभी तक उसने कोई भी इस पर एक्शन नहीं लिया है इस समय हम केवल अपने फोरम के माध्यम से बार बार मीडिया के माध्यम से और लोगों से एकजुटता करके बस केवल राज्य सरकार और केंद्र सरकार के अधिकारियों से नेताओं से मिल रहे हैं उनसे निवेदन कर रहे हैं कि किसी तरह से इस पर अपनी एक सहमति बना करके एक फिजिबिलिटी रिपोर्ट बनाकर किसी तरह से निर्माण का कार्य इसका शुरू किया जाए हेडलाइन टुडे का जो राइट टू बी हर्ड एक कैंपेनिंग चल रहा है यदि इसके माध्यम से जितने भी लोग एक दूसरे से जुड़ सके जो हमसे जुड़ सके उससे तमाम जनता का और हमारा ये एक साथ हो जाएगा तो ये सबसे बड़ा अचीवमेंट होगा हर आदमी को अपनी बात कहने का सुनने का अपनी बात को समझने का पूरा अधिकार होगा
One of the main objectives of the You Matter show is that your voice finds resonance. In our very first episode, we had profiled a crusade, a 12-year crusade of one man, Gandhendu Jha, to breathe life into the dying Yamuna. This is the place where I actually started a small campaign called We for Yamuna. I didn't think that I'll begin an organization or a movement. I thought it was my bit to save the river. You have bubbles coming out. You know, there's no river in the world which is as polluted as Yamuna. These are methane gas that is coming out. So if they could have actually bought mineral water worth 20,000 crores and poured it in the river, there could have been a new Yamuna. Today, Wimlain Dujha's voice is found in echo from the backwaters of Kerala. Grace Napoleon today is fighting against environmental degradation. She has taken inspiration from Wimblindu's fight and is galvanizing children to join her in this endeavor. My name is Grace T. Napoleon. I was a teacher for a long time. I have seen a show in one of your TV shows about saving the Yamuna by Vimalendu. I think the similar things have to be done by our own children in Kerala. We have got a lot of uh, ecological problem in Kerala. Rivers are drying up and many of the natural resources are depleting at a, an alarming rate. So it is our duty that we have to motivate and we have to create awareness among the people. So, uh, this is the Yamuna 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 she went to schools, interacting with students, setting up environment clubs and encouraging them to fight local pollution issues. I decided to join this because we are children and can do many things and protect this world. Till now we left it to our elders to do the job. But right now we feel it's time for us to act. Let us all encourage our children to join. If children are made to go out and do some work. By making a pollution free environment, we, the children of the future, can live in a better and safer world. Though unaided by any support group, Grace hopes to spread her campaign to even more schools across the state of Kerala. We should collectively work for the betterment of our environment because we have to make it a better world for our children. The future is theirs. They want change and they have to be heard. Like Grace, many of you out there are writing to us with your fights, your stories. As we come to the end of the third edition of uh, the You Matter show, I'd like to take this opportunity to read out some of the mails that you've been sending us. We have a mail here by retired Colonel S.C. Talwar from Gurgaon, where he writes to us about the builder mafia in Gurgaon. He wants to highlight certain issues. Uh, Colonel Talwar, uh, you can trust our team to reach you and get all details and hopefully you will feature on the You Matter show. As well, we have constructed feedback coming in right from the United Kingdom. Najib Hussain writes us, uh, he has certain issues he wants addressed. Uh, we, of course, would be writing to him on the same. If you out there also want to feature on this show, you have a fight, you want to be heard. Well, you can get in touch with us uh, at www.righttobeheard.in. You can get in touch with us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at right to be heard. You can. Even call us. We have caller lines now. 
from BSNL, you can call us on one two triple five two four. All other operators can call us on five zero five two four two four two two. If you want to tune in and uh, have missed our show, certain parts of our show, you can catch the entire show on YouTube. That's uh, give you the ID for that. It's www.youtube.com slash user slash right to be heard. So if you've missed the story, if you've missed the past episode, you can catch all the action there. Till now, till now, all of you out there had the right to freedom of speech. Today, you have the right to be heard. You have your show. You have the You Matter show.